Hey everyone, it's Kevin at Bear Creek. Back in April 2019, I, uh, I did an experiment with uh, some packages. And I installed some in five frame nukes, I installed some in four frame nukes, and I installed some in uh, uh, ten frame boxes. And um, these were all essentially the same type of queen and uh, whatnot. And what I really wanted to do was see uh, once and for all, um, whether a, a package in a nuke box would, uh, would grow faster than a package in a 10 frame box. And what I've actually concluded here is that it appears that that might be the case. Um, that yellow one there, yellow and brown hive there with the uh, yellow super on um, that is a package that was installed in a uh, 10 frame box with a two frame feeder so it was eight frames plus the feeder um, packages here were installed in a uh, four over four uh, configuration but I did split the hive those uh, hives out earlier um, so we really can't uh, can't go by that, but they were uh, very, very prolific, and there was a reason that I split them out. That 5 over 5 there, I also split out uh, about two weeks ago. Um, and this one I left completely alone, and it is now 4 over 4 over 4 over 4. Um, so it has four deeps on it. Not only that, I just added a deep to it um, last week, Sunday. Uh, this is Saturday, so it was seven days ago, and we are completely plugged out with honey. Uh, that's how fast that was. That one was uh, was growing. Now I did. I was in there yesterday, and I did steal a frame to give to a swarm hive over there. And uh, um, but still, uh, this hive it has shown that uh, if left alone, I and I actually did steal. Uh, a frame of brood out and I gave it to uh, another hive earlier in the year to um, actually for um, for my mating nukes so uh, a frame and some and some uh, and some bees and it still is four over four over four now this is exactly right around two months that I ago that I I put this package in so what I have to do today because this is getting a little bit big I'm gonna have to tear down this uh, uh, four over four over four over four and uh, I'm gonna install it in a uh, 10 frame box uh, I'm gonna install it actually in uh, uh, 10 over 10 and then I'm gonna put a super on as well um, a deep that is the second uh, deep that I'm gonna install is actually gonna be uh, a honey super because uh, they have plugged this out pretty well with honey so I got to give them uh, some space uh, and, and specific space to uh to lay some some eggs so i want to move some honey up uh into the uh into uh a, a, a honey super so um stay tuned and uh watch as i uh transfer this into a uh, 10 over 10 hive honey is going uh i think i'm gonna leave honey going up here and uh my brood is going to go down here. I've got my lower box here. Now I'm going to have to make some room on that uh, platform there, I think. Okay, I'm gonna to have to be very judicious about this. And I'm gonna to have to look for the queen as I'm doing it.
Absolutely huge honey frame. The whole time I'm going to be looking for the queen here. This is a full cap brood frame. And they're back filling it with honey. So I'm going to do a quick scan for the queen. Actually, uh, It's a brood frame, we'll leave it a brood frame. Okay. This is a, uh, a brood frame. that they're turning into a honey frame. Honey frame. Okay, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna set this sort of like there, make it a little life a little easier on these guys. another honey frame one of my uh, oh this doesn't get any heavier here this is absolutely loaded with honey See the queen on it. This has eggs and honey.
Lots of drones in this colony. This is honey, actually. One's not built out at all. Actually, I might, I might use this as a honey frame. I have, I'm undecided on this yet. This is a nectar frame. Okay, absolutely full of cat brood. A little bit of drone comb. Absolutely full of it. No queen that I can see. Another frame absolutely loaded with cat brood, larvae. Lots of drone comb. again. Lots of drones. Lots of drones in this colony. Woo! Okay.
this is foundationless with my fishing line. I have yet to see the queen though. But she has, she's been in here, this is all laid up with, uh, with eggs. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this colony is about to absolutely 100% explode. This is my uh, fifth frame of uh, completely laid out There's my queen. Somehow she's not marked anymore. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'll mark her. Take a moment and mark her. She can sense me. Okay. So now I've got her in here, and uh, now I can go do what I, whatever the heck it is I really want to do without really worrying about a whole lot here. Um, Yeah, this is too nice of a pollen frame to put up top. Way too nice of a pollen frame. Way too nice. I gotta put this in here. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, Okay. Let me get this out of the way. And uh, let me see about picking this up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm going with nine frames up top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'll just space them out just like a honey super. Queen Excluder, and then the Queen. Can't forget about her. There she goes. I tell you what, folks, this Queen cage is like the ultimate. Okay.
Okay. Now because this is full of drones, I'm not going to tap it out in the honey super because they just, well actually there's a hole there so they can get out. Never mind. I forgot I had an upper entrance for now. I honestly think that this colony was, if we weren't in a little bit of a honey flow, would be on the verge of swarming, uh, given that, that compacted uh, uh, nucleus colony. And uh, they just needed more room than I could give them in a five over five over five over five. So um, hopefully they'll be a little bit happier in their new digs. And uh, we'll have to go from there. But for now, like I said, I think the experiment is over. Um, again, um, whoops, I'm sorry. This one was actually, this one here was my, uh, was, my pack, was my package install. This was a swarm hive. This was a package install. And yesterday I put a, it had a super on it, and which was about almost half full of honey and then so I under supered it um, so I put uh, I put another super on it um, but as you can see um, you know there isn't near as many bees in this colony as there were in the other colony now in this colony again I did steal a frame of brood from it but I did that to all my uh, packages uh, to create uh, my uh, my mini uh, or my my small mating two frame mating nukes so um, again I, I think my experiment you know as limited as it was told me that packages will expand and explode uh, a little bit uh, quicker and faster in a, uh, a five frame or a four frame configuration four over four over four or five over five over five over five uh, than it will in a uh, in a 10 frame configuration don't don't exactly know why I mean bees do like building down or vertical I should say um, you know and now uh, I've got this very very powerful hive it's the end of June and it's the beginning of our our clover uh, summer uh, honey flow uh, last year you know it was only about two weeks long and then they started consuming everything else but uh, um, so be it. 
Um, you can see how big this hive has gotten. Now if it continues to grow, this is a hive and the reason why I, I, uh, I built those shook swarm boxes when I come to take my honey off in the fall, um, I will take the honey supers off, shake the bees that are on the honey supers into the shook swarm box, into the funnel, and uh, use that to populate uh, any nucleus hives that I have that are weaker. That's my plan. So, there you go. Okay, until next time, happy beekeeping, everyone.